Cisco Identity Services Engine, PX Grid, and FMC Testing. So now we're going to test out the configuration we did in the previous video. We're going to log in here as Sales 1. And this is tied into Identity Services. This is what we've been building. We'll go ahead and accept that banner. And we'll do an IP config. And we'll validate the IP address that we currently have. So we see the dot .160. Let's minimize here. We'll go ahead and check the active sessions here. Just a quick refresh of the page. And we can see that user logged in. Sales 1, passive authentication, current IP address. We see the realm. There's the, the username and some attributes that were pulled from Active Directory as well, like sales1 at cisco.local as an email address. Now we're going to go into the command line on Firepower Threat Defense. We're going to run system support firewall engine dump user identity data. We're going to check that dump file very quickly here to see if we see reference to that IP address in the actual dump file. And if we scroll back down here, we should see it. I just saw it. There it is. And you can see there's that 172.16.32.160. That happens to be my VPN IP addressing uh, that's allocated during a VPN connection. And so that's good. Let's go ahead and jump to operations. We'll go to live logs and we'll quickly have a look here to see everything looks good here. We know this because we're already connected, but I'm just trying to close the loop here. There's that IP address. We see the authorization policy, um, all the specifics around that. Now, if we jump to table connection events, we can see that user. We can actually filter based on that initiator user and just focus on sales one. We can see all the connections that are associated with that individual and then from here we can very quickly go to context explorer so we'll go ahead and click into context explorer we can see the connections we see any indications of compromise if there was any we see network information we see connection with ssl we've got application based on client web and application protocol any security intelligence events impacts with IPS, some file type activity that might have happened. We've got the initiator country and URL information. Now that's just a quick pivot on that user identity and focusing on that individual as opposed to maybe their host profile or their asset that they're connecting with. Anyways, that's it. Pretty cool, easy to do. Integration, PXGrid and Identity Services Engine, Firepower Management Center. Thank you.